What is up everybody, Scape211 here. We are on the test server and we are looking at this new weapon, the Revoker, all right? This one, we saw a little bit of a sneak peek on the uh, actual game because this is the new weapon that's coming out. This is our new close quarters weapon. If you already took a peek at this, um, you know, some of this you already know, but this has the ability magnetic shot. It fires a single shot and it will come back to it um, after a certain distance and it will hit anything along the way. It reloads as soon as the dart comes back. So if you hit stuff closer to you, you can fire off more shots. So it's just a single load weapon uh, and basically, you know, kind of like a ricocheting effect that you get out of this hitting your target. So interesting mechanic. I, I appreciate this is a, a unique weapon, similar to how the pod gun was something we haven't seen, not just a 2.0 of something else. So that's really cool. Uh, if we look at the stats here, which you guys probably already saw, wasn't anything super impressive when I first saw this. I'll be honest, because when I look at the stat sheet and you compare this to like the Ember Gun 8, it has similar damage levels for the per shot. But remember, this is a one shot, whereas the Ember Gun is two and does overheat. So the damage potential in that seems much higher especially given the fact that you know you get those two shots off very quickly and the reload will feel pretty similar to this I think in terms of time frame but the difference is how this actually functions um, and this is not exactly clear by seeing it on this sheet um, so I may just show some of my footage because I compared the revoker 8 with the ember gun 8 just in some testing and what's interesting about this weapon is when you hit an enemy target you hit the front of its hitbox then the back of its hitbox or the opposite side before it comes back to you so you actually hit your target twice and then anything else that would be between it on the way back to you would also get hit so that means you potentially do one damage and then a second damage which would be back damage if they're facing you and then two side damage if it's on the side it will depend on where you're standing basically for when the shot comes back to you but very interesting mechanic and the actual damage numbers i would say generally feel about similar to the ember gun when i was testing it i don't know the exact ins and outs of it um you know i didn't do like any charting or anything like that for getting the damage values but uh when you add that up that actually is not too far off and uh when you compare that versus the other you know pluses and minuses of each weapon i actually think the revoker could potentially be better than the ember gun um but we'll have to see as we play with it overall so let's play a little bit and see how it goes here we go oh okay all right this is probably not the best map for this but I, I think it'll be fine um all right so i'm doing the uh redeemer setup on this uh this is well the revoker is on tier five roughly um so i did like a a tier five ish build um so you can see the overall distance and then as i get a little closer to the wall and then of course as i'm close up you can see how much quicker that shoots when it actually is right against the wall um i think it shoots a little bit slower when you actually get up to someone really close but I probably won't do that with Redeemer. That's more of like a Surge or Eclipse or whatever type of idea. But from here, we should be able to... Oh, not, not that far. Um, hit some decent stuff. <clears throat> so uh, what is good about this is the implants for this. Uh, there's only two. Dang it. Uh, damage and range, but you get them in every single category. You get them uh, as a uh, rare, epic, and legendary. So, you know, whatever stage of the game you're at, you have potential for getting the, the best implants for it. I do feel like this is a really nice, what I call a poking weapon, right? This is this is like peak shooting, but it's where you can just do a single shot and then stick behind or hit them more if they, they peek out. Um, ooh, nope, okay. Uh, so that does very well. But the problem with this is you do have to be pretty exact. Um, when you're doing this as opposed to like a shotgun weapon that has spread and you can be a little more uh, liberal with how you do your shots. Um, but this, this you gotta be pretty much dead on. It's like a spear that shoots at it, so. Yeah, I mean, I I have to say, ooh, okay, good. I have to say it feels like it can compete with the Ember Gun. Um, Cause even here we're doing, we're doing pretty solid. I mean, I would think at this, in this category you can do pretty well but you can do it good with the ember gun too but like i said i think the damage numbers are pretty pretty similar um the potential range you can get on this though is where it's at like this can get i don't think it's quite 60 meters but it's close to nope oh my gosh i'm so close to dead i just want to keep going oh no oh wait are those our pods yeah they have to be from this side all right sorry <laughs> i saw those and i just like freaked out for a minute. Dude keeps potting me. Oh, thank you. Alright, I'll take that. 
Never gonna turn down a shield, okay. Yeah, I mean, it, from here, the damage is not great, but it, the benefit is that you can hit your target. The flexibility that you have is good. And then, of course, if you get in that, like, 20 meters, a little bit over range, especially depending on your implant, um, you know, you'll, you'll be able to do solid damage. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, even though I'm, I'm, you know, obviously you're not going to be in this situation where you get to do this against a whole lot of targets. But the flexibility to be able to do it sometimes versus moving in on your target, uh, especially if you're using like a dash mech, which is more ideal, can be really, really effective. Um, so yeah, the, the poking method, the, of course, getting in and just like tearing it up are also really good. So overall, though, uh, seems really, really effective from this uh, standpoint. Let's try it maxed out next. All right, so we are running this maxed out this time on Shadow. Not exactly ideal in the sense of the light mechs with a close range weapon, but uh, we're gonna do it anyway, just because this actually gives us some pretty good distance. I believe your maxed range on this, like I said, it's under 60. I think it's actually 58 if you're running a legendary implant like I am. I'll put my build up. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty, pretty solid range. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to utilize that get some good damage in that was not bad to start and you i mean remember too these are eights on tier five i don't know what sizes we'll get for this weapon but you can bet that we're going to get something higher than eight I have to see how those work when we get to that point but i think it will be pretty competitive all right go ahead push me guy yeah and now this guy's in my way okay. we actually got a couple shots there i'm kind of surprised that those uh, storm rack shots didn't kill us. But as you can see, I mean, we're able to poke quickly, get that secondary bigger damage in uh, as it hits the back of the target, and still keep ourselves pretty well hidden. The, the exposure time on this is quite low if you want to do poke shooting, and then you can have more extended if you want to get in close. And just like Ember Gun, you know, because this is a single weapon reload, you're kind of uh, protected against Guardian play as well, which is pretty crazy almost unfair in some sense. Ooh, that was a big... Uh, I don't know if that was me or... Yeah, that must have been something else that hit it too. It's like, I don't think we're doing that high damage. But we end up getting killed there. Alright. Um, I was going to try to move in, but then he put the shield up, so never mind. It's kind of hard... I, well, it's not kind of hard. It is hard to get in close with Shadow because you're, you're very weak at this level so i'm i'm kind of just playing it safe sadly oh no okay <laughs> as i said that and i get hit with with storm rex i thought i was toast i got lucky there oh no uh the redox it's actually not doing that much damage okay i expected it to pretty much clean me out oh man i thought that would have killed him okay there we go yeah, I mean, obviously at this level, it's not doing amazing damage, but it's actually not terrible considering. Um, I bet if I ran this on a surge, I'd, I'd do pretty well, but I just wanted to do something that it would be fitting for like how you max it this way. With the surge, you'd of course run a higher variant of this weapon and do even better. But I was just trying to keep with like, if somebody wanted to get this specific version of the weapon. Quite honestly, I don't think many people are gonna get this specific one, the eight. Uh, except those that, you know, want to run it uh, with, like, a 16. If a 16 comes out, we don't even know. Uh, so, you know, it's it could be useful in that sense for endgame or something like that. But uh, in this case, it will have limited uses. Um, so if you get a good deal for it, maybe get that instead of, like, the Ember Gun. Honestly, I think it's pretty comparable to the Ember Gun. The difference, of course, is going to be the beneficial element to the range on this weapon. So you're losing that spread but you get so much more range out of it, um, and it gives you more flexibility for how you tackle opponents. So I think there's a lot of good potential with this weapon. Um, so I, I like a lot of that. So the bots weren't exactly fully maxed, but they were pretty close. 
Uh, but overall, yeah, I, I really am happy with this weapon's performance. I think it's very, very good, very comparable to Ember Guns. I would say if you already have maxed out Ember Guns, you probably don't need it. You get a lot of similar play for close up, but if you don't, this is definitely one to look for when the higher variants come out. But uh, feel free to comment below your thoughts about it. We'll see you out there on the battlefield.